Hello traders, welcome back. In the previous lectures on this section, you have learned about the pin bar candlestick pattern and engulfing candlestick pattern. And from this lecture on to the next following three lectures, you will learn about another strong candlestick pattern and that is the inside bar candlestick pattern. So in this lecture today, I will be talking to you about the basic formation and characteristics of inside bar candlestick pattern. Inside bar candlestick pattern is a very powerful candlestick pattern to signal the end of a running trend and as well as signals the trend continuation on a price action chart. So let's start mustering this awesome candlestick pattern. Inside bar candlesticks are basically identified by two back to back opposite directional candles where the current candlestick's high and low been covered by the high and low of its preceding candlestick's high and low. Or more simply, the most recent candlestick stays inside the total range of its previous candlestick. These two candlesticks has to be two different directional candles, which means if one candle is a bullish candle, then the other candle has to be a bearish candle or vice versa. In this candlestick pattern, we call the B candle as mother candle and the next candle which stays inside the range of the mother candle is called the inside bar candle because its total range stays inside the range of its mother candle. Multiple inside bar candlesticks can be formed inside the range of the mother candle and still it's a valid inside bar candlestick pattern. The look of the inside bar candlestick pattern is the opposite of engulfing candlestick pattern. In engulfing candlestick pattern, the most recent candle engulfs the previous candle but this time the most recent candles are being engulfed by the previous candle where the most recent candle stays inside the range of the mother candle or big candle. That's why this candlestick pattern is called as the inside bar candlestick pattern. Now because multiple different directional candlesticks can be formed inside the mother candle, so to address this pattern as bullish inside bar pattern or bearish inside bar pattern like the other candlestick patterns, we should wait for another confirmation and that is. If an inside bar candlestick pattern forms at the bottom of a price action chart where the mother candle is a bearish candle and then a bullish candle break the high of the mother candle's range, then this pattern we will call as bullish inside bar candlestick pattern, where this pattern signals the strong bullish momentum on that market. On the other hand, if an inside bar candlestick pattern forms at the top of a price action chart where the mother candle is a bullish candle and then a bearish candle break the low of the mother candle's range, then this pattern we will call as bearish inside bar candlestick pattern, where this pattern signals the strong bearish momentum on that market. Although inside bar candlestick patterns generally acts as a trend reversal pattern at the swing points, but sometimes this candlestick pattern also acts as a trend continuation pattern. You will learn more about this in the later lectures, but I am signing off for now. In the next lecture, I will tell you about the market sentiment of inside bar candlestick pattern. So until then, have a nice day and goodbye.